Welcome to these sessions on solving differential equations with TK Solver. TK Solver is a mathematical modeling environment, so uh, when we set up a math model that includes solutions to differential equations, as with other uh, solutions in TK, it can be solved forward or backward. So uh, this works with a single differential equation or families of them. This first session will cover uh, a single differential equation solved on the rule sheet. Uh, a single rule will be used. We will uh, uh, also be referring to an example straight out of the TK uh, user's guide. Just as a refresher on that, we can look at the user's guide. We'll go to built-in functions, which is chapter 10, and we see there's a section here, how to solve differential equations with TK Solver. So if you wanted, uh, in addition to this video tutorial, uh, you can also print this out or just read it online and uh, work through samples there. The example that uh, I'm going to use is uh, going to use one of the integrators that we have. There are several integrators in TK Solver. Uh, I'm going to use one called ODE Stiffer. And uh, I'll supply the expression here right in the rule itself. I'll say uh, a times the exponent of c times x minus b times y. And then we need to identify the independent variable and the dependent variable and use possibly within that expression. We close the expression, the symbolic expression, and then we're going to give it the initial x and the maximum x over which we're going to do the integration. And we specify the name of the uh, dependent variable list that we'd like to use and then the name of the independent variable list. When we enter that rule, the uh, uh, two variables for the initial and the maximum values of the independent variable are provided there. Um, we'll take it over uh, an interval from 0 to 1. We also see there are some parameters in the differential equation, so we'll put those on the variable sheet as well. And I'll use values of one third, two, and point two for those. Next, uh, I like to build a table, and the table is going to have the solution lists in there. So I declare that the x list and the y list will be part of this table. Close the intermediate worksheets there. Um, we need to supply an initial condition for the solution list. I'll put in there, say, um, 0.2. So we're going to solve this differential equation using these values of a, b, and c over the interval from 0 to 1 with initial condition 0.2 for y. We solve, and we see the solution uh, appear in the table. You can also create a plot. It's called a plot P. Tell it that I have x on the x-axis and y on the y-axis, and we'll view that. And we see the, the plot. Close that. Close that. Let's get a view of things here. The next thing uh, we can uh, show is the fact that you can uh, place the initial condition in here programmatically. You can, you can say, well, I, I want to use a place function in TK, and I will place into the list y, into the first element, the value of the variable, I'll call it yi. 
So now in my variable sheet, I have variable yi. I'll move that up here to this section with the other initial conditions. And uh, if I put a point 0.2 in there, we get the same solution. If I change this to 0.35, we get a new solution. There's a new plot. We can also um, uh, create uh, functions that uh, are in the form of list functions in TK that will interpolate between these values. That will allow us to get a continuous solution uh, regardless of the value of the input that we provide for x. So I'll make a, a list function here called y. Call it a list function. Declare it that way. We put x as the domain. Y is the range list, and we use linear spacing. So this function now will give us a solution anywhere between 0 and 1. Go to the rule sheet, and I will say that Y equals Y of X, where that Y right here, this function Y, is that list function we just created. So on the variable sheet now, if I make x 0.5, when I solve, I get that value, 0.24. So what it did, it went into the table, found where 0.5 was, and did the interpolation. We have a continuous function now. Finally, uh, since we have all this set up in TK, we have the model made. I will uh, uh, have the optimizer uh, determine the value of the initial condition such that uh, the final value of y at 0.45, uh, sorry, at 0.5 is uh, exactly 0.3. So we go to the optimizer, set that up, target variable y. I want that to be set to a value of exactly 0.3 by changing value yi. And I click the optimize button. It says an optimal solution has been found. Shows us a value of yi that gets us there, 0.515. And uh, just looking at the plot, we see that uh, 0.3 gets that at 0.5. So we've seen that the uh, model was able to solve, we were able to back solve um, for a particular solution. Uh, this ends session one.